Hello folks, Prasad Domala here and in today's video I'll show you how to set up a local instance of uh, AWS DynamoDB. So let's get started. As you might already know, it's quite common that you might need a local uh, database to test your code while you're um, developing. If you're using any relational or uh, NoSQL databases, you can install those locally while you are uh, developing. But DynamoDB is an online uh, NoSQL database service which basically means that uh, you need to have internet connectivity to interact with your uh, DynamoDB tables. Also, you'll be paying for all the read and uh, write capacity units and data storage uh, costs, which is not ideal during your uh, development phase. So to address this issue, uh, AWS provides a local version of DynamoDB, which can be downloaded and installed on your uh, local machine. So it enables developers to write and test their code against the local version of uh, DynamoDB. And once they're ready to deploy, we can uh, point our application to use the online uh, DynamoDB service instead of the local instance. We can install DynamoDB local in three ways, using a downloadable version installed directly on your uh, computer, second using Docker, and third using Apache Maven dependency if you're uh, primarily into developing Java-based uh, projects. In this video, we'll be exploring direct local install and uh, Docker versions. Also, you can find all the commands I use uh, in this video on my uh, blog. I'll leave the link in the description. First, let's install DynamoDB directly on our uh, local machine. So you need JRE version 6 or later for this. So I have JRE already installed on my local machine. I can check the version using java-version command. So I'm running java 1.8. Next, we need to download DynamoDB uh, zip file. You can use any of these URLs to download. I'll use curl to download the zip file. So the file size would be less than 20 MB. So I have my uh, zip file downloaded. Let me extract it. So once extracted, you'll find a jar file, which is uh, DynamoDB local.jar, which we'll be using to start our local instance of uh, DynamoDB. So the command for that would be uh, Java and then uh, hyphen D, java.library.path, which will be uh, DynamoDB local underscore lib. So let me copy that. And then we need to provide the jar file name using hyphen jar option. And then the file name, which is DynamoDB local.jar. And then the final option we need to provide is uh, hyphen shared DB. So this specifies to use a single shared DB uh, for all your DynamoDB tables. So if you don't specify this, it will create separate databases for each you know, credential and uh, region. So for testing purposes, we can just uh, use a single shared DB to store all your uh, DynamoDB tables. And by default, DynamoDB will run on port 8000. If you want to change it, you can use hyphen port option, and then uh, you can specify the port of your choice. But for this demo, I'll use the default port, uh, which is uh, 8000. And make sure the port you specify is not used by any other process on your uh, local machine. So let me execute this command. So now the DynamoDB process is started locally. So we need to keep this uh, terminal open. So let me open a new uh, terminal. So now we can execute uh, simple CLI commands to verify the local uh, DynamoDB connectivity. So I'll just execute DynamoDB uh, list tables to get the list of our uh, DynamoDB tables. So I'll say AWS DynamoDB list tables. And for endpoint URL, we need to provide the local uh, URL. So that would be our uh, endpoint URL. And our local URL is uh, localhost. And then the port, the default port is 8000. So if you have specified a different port, use your uh, port here. As you can see, the connectivity is fine and we got the response from our uh, DynamoDB local instance. As we don't have any tables yet, you got an empty array, which is fine. Now let's create a table using CLI again. So let me head over to uh, AWS CLI builder.com. So this is a tool I built to generate AWS CLI commands visually. So let me search for uh, DynamoDB. Then select your DynamoDB service. And then for commands, I'll search for uh, create table. So once you select your command, you'll get a list of all required and optional parameters. I'll provide the table name as um, my DDB local. 
for attribute definitions i'll just add one uh, attribute say for example username so i'll just copy the syntax from here so we should provide the attribute name and the attribute uh, type so i'll just call my attribute as uh, say username and the attribute type would be a string so i'll provide s next for key schema i'll provide primary key or hash key so let's check the syntax again and let me copy the syntax so that should be attribute name and then the key type i'll just copy this so our attribute name is again username and the key type would be hash which is nothing but your uh, primary key so for throughput i'll just use one read capacity unit and one write capacity unit let me again copy the syntax from here so i'll use um, one as read capacity unit and one for uh, write capacity unit let me put my profile name which is my aws admin so that's our cli uh, command so let's copy it by clicking on this uh, little icon here and then now uh, let's get back to our uh, terminal and execute the command before executing we need to provide our endpoint url like we did for our uh, previous command which is endpoint url is equal to localhost and then port uh, 8000 so if you don't provide the endpoint url as localhost it will try to connect to the online DynamoDB service we don't want that so i'll just provide endpoint url and then uh, http colon slash slash localhost and then port 8000 so now this command will try to connect to your local instance and as you can see we got the response here and we have our uh, table arn so it will be slightly different from your actual uh, DynamoDB table arn you can see we have all zeros for the account number and we have our uh, DynamoDB uh, table name here and then we have our attribute definitions which is username of type string and then we have our um, provision throughput the read capacity units and the write capacity units and we have our uh, key schema here and we, as we don't have any items the item count is uh, zero which is fine now if we execute list tables again we should see our um, table and the response which is my uh, ddb look so you can now use all your usual cli commands and sdk to interact with your uh, local instance of uh, dynamodb just make sure to use uh, endpoint url as local host and the local uh, port number which is 8000 by default if you notice the directory there will be a new db file which is called uh, shared-local-instance.db where all your uh, local DynamoDB tables will be uh, stored. So if you didn't specify hyphen shared DB option while starting your local DynamoDB, you will see multiple .db files, one for each credential and uh, region. So that is how you can run your DynamoDB directly on your local machine. But I prefer Docker way of uh, doing it so that I'm not fiddling with my uh, local machine. You can use Docker method if you don't have GRE installed on your uh, local machine. And you don't need to download any uh, zip files onto your local machine if you're using Docker method. AWS provides a pre built Docker image for DynamoDB local and it's called DynamoDB local. To use that image, you can simply run Docker and then run. And you need to provide the port mapping using hyphen P. You can use the default port, which is 8000. And then you need to provide the port on the Docker image, which is again uh, 8000. And then you need to specify your uh, Docker image name, which is Amazon slash DynamoDB hyphen local. Before doing that, let me stop our local instance of uh, DynamoDB, which is using port 8000 already. You can stop this instance or, or you can use a uh, different port number here. Let me stop the instance. So you can just do control C to stop your uh, DynamoDB local process. And let me execute this docker run command make sure you have your docker uh, started it might take a while when you first run this command as it needs to pull the image from docker hub it's already pulled on my machine so it starts right away so this command will basically map your local port which is 8000 to the port 8000 on the docker image so you can essentially use uh, the same url we used uh, earlier so let me go to other terminal and here you can use um, the same commands aws are dynamo db list tables 
and then you need to provide the endpoint URL as uh, localhost and then port 8000. So we have our empty list here and we can use the same command again to create tables uh, within uh, our Docker image. We execute this and then now uh, provide the endpoint URL here. And this creates tables in your uh, Docker image. As you can see, we get the same response. And if you use Docker, uh, we don't need to install anything on our uh, local machine except Docker itself. And we can use the pre-built image from Amazon to test our uh, application integration with uh, DynamoDB. So that's it for this video, folks. Hope you liked and found it useful. Please subscribe and hit that like button down below if you did. I hope you have learned something today. And always keep learning new things. Thank you and see you in the next one.